Hello again, everybody. I'm going to read my favourite, favourite story to you. It's called Don't Wake Up the Bear. Why do you think the bear is asleep? Because it's winter. And what do bears do when it's winter? They sleep, they eh? Remember what the big word is? Hibernate. Look, my dog's come to say hello again. This is Bella and she loves it when I do videos for you guys. She likes to come and say hello. Okay, don't wake up the bear. One cold winter's eve, a bear lay asleep in his cave. The bear was big. The bear was soft. The bear was warm. Oh, that bear does look cozy and warm in its cave, hey? In the woods, a silver hare stopped to rest. Who can tell me what is a hare? That's right, it's a type of rabbit. She noticed the bear. My ears are so cold, said the hare. I wish I could snuggle up with that big, soft, warm bear. And since her ears were so cold and the bear was fast asleep, she did. Okay, let go. A badger came by. His muzzle was white with snow. He saw the hare snuggled against the bear. My nose is so cold, said the badger. I wish I could snuggle up with that big, soft, warm bear. You may come in, whispered the hare, but don't wake up the bear. And since the badger's nose was so cold and the bear was fast asleep, he did. Do you remember I told you about the badger yesterday? Let's see who's next. Along came a fox. He saw the badger and the hare snuggled against the bear. My legs are so cold, said the fox. I wish I could snuggle up with that big, soft, warm bear. You may come in, whispered the hare. Don't wake up the bear. And since the fox's legs were so cold and the bear was fast asleep, he did. Do you remember we spoke about a fox yesterday as well? A squirrel scampered out of his tree. Look, there's the squirrel. He saw the fox and the badger and the hare snuggled against the bear. My toes are so cold, said the squirrel. I wish I could snuggle up with that big, soft, warm bear. You may come in, whispered the hare, but don't wake up the bear. And since the squirrel's toes were so cold, and the bear was fast asleep. He did. A little mouse skirted by. Can you see the little mouse? A little mouse skirted by, slipping on the ice. She saw the squirrel and the fox and the badger and the hare snuggled against the bear. My tail is so c -c -c cold, sniffed the mouse. I wish I could snuggle up with that big, soft, warm bear. You may come in, whispered the hare. And then she said, but don't wake up the bear. Look, the bear's still fast asleep. And since the bear's ear looked so soft, 
and the bear was fast asleep. She did. Look where the mouse is sleeping. In the bear's ear. In the woods, snowflakes drifted down, softly, softly down, and everything was quiet. Until from deep within the darkness and the comfy, cozy softness, there came a little sniffle, and the mouse awoke with a twitchy nose. Show me how the nose twitched. Like that. And then a great big sniffle. Hush! whispered the hare, and then she said, don't wake up the bear. But the mouse didn't hear. She was too busy scrunching her nose and sniffling. She sniffled and sniffled and sniffled and she sniffed. Shh, said the squirrel and the fox and the badger, and the hare, and then they all said, don't wake up the bear. From the middle of the bear, there came a rumble, and a grumble. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, said the mouse, but I, I have a cold, and I need to... She sneezed right in the bear's ear. The bear shuddered. The bear trembled. The bear rumbled. The bear grumbled. Oh no. And the bear woke up. Uh-oh. And, oh, he's got a hungry face. He was very hungry. He looked around. He saw the mouse. He saw the squirrel. He saw the fox. He saw the badger. He saw the hare. Then he opened wide his huge bear mouth and growled the loudest growl ever heard from a bear. How loud do you think that he growled? Can you growl for me? Growl! The mouse froze with terror. shouted the squirrel and the fox and the badger and the hare. You see, they're all running. He's hungry. This time, the mouse listened. For she couldn't help but hear. And away they all ran. The mouse, the squirrel, the fox, the badger and the hare. Slipping and sliding through the woods as fast as they could go. And the bear, do you know what he did? He yawned a big, soft, warm bear yawn. He stumbled to his feet and he trudged off through the snow. to find something to eat. And look what's he eating. Berries. Because bears don't eat mice, or foxes, or hares, or badgers. They eat berries, and they eat fish. Isn't that what Miss Howard told you today? Can you see why that is my favorite story? I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed reading it to you. Have a beautiful, beautiful weekend and we'll see you all on Monday.
Love you lots. Bye.